Hi, thanks for watching BibleMountain.com. Within American Christianity, there is some debate and disagreement and some confusion about the nature of God. And the question is, is God always gentle or is God always cold and harsh? In this video, we're going to look at some verses in Exodus 34 that tells us that it's both. God is both gentle and harsh. So let's take a look at this, beginning in chapter 34. The context of this is the Israelites are at Mount Sinai. They are receiving the Mosaic Law. If you remember, a couple chapters previous to this, we are told that Moses had been up on the mountain receiving the Law, and then the Israelites began worshiping the golden calf, and so Moses came down from the mountain and dealt with that sin, and now in 34, God is summoning Moses back on top of the mountain to finish receiving the law. So let's resume reading at verse 1. Now Yahweh said to Moses, Cut out for yourself two stone tablets like the former ones, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets which you shattered. So if you remember, when Moses had been on the mountain the first time, God wrote the words of the law on these tablets, when Moses came down from the mountain and saw the Israelites worshiping the golden calf, he threw the tablets to the ground and broke them. And that's what God is referring to here. Verse 2. And again, this is Yahweh speaking to Moses. So be ready by morning and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No man is to come up with you, nor let any man be seen anywhere on the mountain, even the flocks and the herds may not graze in front of that mountain. Now we're reminded here of the separation and the differentiation between God and humans. God is holy and righteous, and humans are not the least bit worthy to be in God's presence. And we're reminded of that in these verses when God summons Moses to the top of the mountain, but tells him to make sure that no other Israelites, not even their animals, are anywhere near the mountain when God comes down to the mountain to visit with Moses. Verse 4. So Moses cut out two stone tablets like the former ones, and Moses rose up early in the morning and went up to Mount Sinai, as Yahweh had commanded Moses, and Moses took two stone tablets in his hand. Yahweh descended in the cloud and stood there with Moses, as Moses called upon the name of Yahweh. Then Yahweh passed by in front of Moses and proclaimed, Yahweh, Yahweh God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness and truth, who keeps loving kindness for thousands, who forgives iniquity, transgression, and sin. So here in verse 6 and 7, we're told about the gentle side of God. That God is compassionate, He's gracious, He's slow to anger, He forgives iniquity, transgression, and sin. But then in the middle of verse 7, we see the word, Yet, yet, Yahweh will by no means leave the guilty unpunished, visiting the iniquity of fathers on the children and on the grandchildren to the third and fourth generations. So here we see that Yahweh also has a harsh side, that He does bring judgment and punishment. Verse 8. Moses made haste to bow low toward the earth and worship. Moses said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go along in our midst, even though the Israelites are so obstinate, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us as your own possession. So you'll remember, after the Israelites worshipped the golden calf, and Moses had finished dealing with that, that God had told Moses to go ahead and lead the Israelites up to the Promised Land, but God said He was not going to go in the midst of the Israelites as they went to the Promised Land, because the Israelites were very obstinate, and they were very sinful. And God said they were so sinful that He would end up having to destroy them if He went along with them. Here we see, in verse 9, that Moses is appealing to God's grace and love and forgiveness and compassion and Moses is asking God to go along with them, even though the Israelites are very obstinate and they don't deserve to have God do anything for them. So again, within American Christianity, we have this little bit of a debate and disagreement and some confusion about the nature of God. Some people insist that God is always grace and loving. Other people insist that God is always harsh and judgmental. But we see here in Exodus 34 that it is both. God is gracious and compassionate and loving, but he also brings judgment and punishment. And we have to understand both sides of God in order to have a true understanding of who God is. 
If you haven't joined my email list yet, please do so. First of all, it is free. By signing up, you'll get immediate access to all my free content. This is the best way to make sure you don't miss out on any of my free content. In order to sign up, go to BibleMountain.com, click on follow. There will be a place there for you to enter your email address. Once again, thank you for watching BibleMountain.com.